Well, welcome back. We're on day three of activities. We're gathering the mesa today and we're gonna get all the calves and cows in the corral and the bulls and the old cows and we're gonna split the calves off from the cows and then we'll send them down to the scales and we'll get them weighed and then they'll go on a truck tomorrow. But that's what we're doing today. We've got five riders out this morning. We got Chelsea over here and Jerry and Henry are over there with that batch of cattle over there. Bob and Chelsea's grandpa is over there. And we're gonna do half the mesa, this side of the mesa. And then uh, we'll get these in the corral. And then we gotta go up and do the other half. We got about 130 head or so, 120 somewhere in there that we're gathering this morning. And so we, we split it up because there's just too much to try to do all at once. It's a nice, nice cool, crisp morning. And we're happy when that sun comes out and warms us up a little bit. Henry and Jerry see some cows way over on the hill over there. So Chelsea and I are gonna come over here and we're gonna get this group that they were pushing up. We're going to go put it with this group over there. Sure is nice having a little motorized buggy to run around. You can just zoop around and come get them. It's, it's pretty nice. So when you're herding cows, <clears throat> You got to think about a, a bubble around the cow and or around the horse and if you want them to go left you just kind of go to their left or if you want them to go left you kind of go to the right side of the cow and they'll move to the left and if you want them to go right you move to the left side of the cow and they'll go right straight you get behind them sometimes they get behind a tree and you go around in a circle but that mostly happens with bulls because they're dumb. You can see here this calf here has got long ears on it. It's unbranded. So after all the roundups done, <clears throat> we'll uh, we'll come back and brand them. So we've corralled the one batch and now we've started on the second side of the mesa here. So I got some here and then we've got some cowboys way up on the hill over there. And we got to get around and turn these guys. So they don't walk off. We need them to walk off in the direction I need them to walk off in. Got them all headed down the hill, all in a bunch now. We'll go across this little wash here and then up into the, the wing over there. And then we'll start our sorting process. Now we start the process of funneling them all towards that wing. Over there, you can see Wayne over there in the side-by-side. -side. We gotta get all the cattle back over here towards the road. And then we'll slowly push them into this wing. I'm making a video on a crowd, on a crowd gate, crowd shoot, crowd fence. There we go, crowd fence. And this wing over here is what I'm modeling it after. This is 6117. He's a bull that's going on the truck. And we drove him a long ways over the last two days. And 
A little bit closer. Hey! The end of these uh, these two wings here is an open gate. And that's where they're all headed. So we got cowboys all around and wings. Cowboys on the wings and Bob and I are over here defending the corners. Hey! of cutting all the cull cows out. Cull cows are lame. Okay. Cull, sorry about that. Cull cows are cows that are 10 years old, maybe lame, have cancer, or whatever. And so we don't go through and cut them out. He'll we'll cut any of the bulls out he wants. Any cows that may look poor or if he's just reducing the herd, he'll go take some out and then he'll bring them to me and they go into this chute. Over here, this is where we store the whole cattle. We'll put all the calves in this pin over here, and we'll sort all the calves off. Sorry, we'll put all the cows and calves in here, and then we'll sort the calves off. And then we'll sort heifers and steers, and then set them down. just saw us finish sorting them and you saw how hectic that was so we got the calves and the cows and the big steers and all them and the bulls got them on the trailers and took them down to down to the scales we weighed the calves and the steers and we've got 46,280 pounds headed our way tomorrow but uh, we weren't able to film the the, the weighing and whatnot. I've got some other videos uh, that we can we can link or you can go find them down below. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.